Hey guys, Tom at TPC Racing here. It's a beautiful day in the spring to be working on Porsches. Right behind me is a 987.2 Cayman S. We'll be adding 100 plus horsepower to it by adding in our TPC Racing Stage 2 Turbo Kit. Before we do this, we're going to dyno test the car to get a baseline horsepower reading. But we're going to be taking this car to the dyno, straight into the shop for the installation. Now, uh, this is not any ordinary Cayman S. Uh, I say this because this car here is owned by Kalen Frederick, who is the current British F3 champion. We are so honored to be working on your car, Kalen. We're getting ready to do our baseline dyno run. As you can see, we have the car strapped down to the dyno, and we have our tachometer hooked up on to capture the RPM signal. We have to open up the engine lid to hook up a wire cord. So we also have our fan hooked up on the front. We're ready to go. baseline dyno run. Normally I only make three runs, but this car, the first one we made, uh, came out to be uh, a bit lower than expected. It came in at 245 at the wheels, and as I run the car more, I can feel that uh, the power is increasing. It could be because the car hadn't been driven in months because Kalen's in Europe racing cars. So this car actually has 68,000 miles on it and uh, it might even have an aftermarket tune on it, but we can't verify that. But let's see here. So the first run came in at 245 at the wheels. And uh, as I said, the runs keep increasing the power. So the last three runs were consistent, all three at 265. So 265 is the number for this car. It's hitting on all six, it's not missing. Uh, but I do feel that 265 is a tad on the low side, so it could be because of uh, there's not a great tune in it, but we can't verify that. But our goal here is not to uh, take this number and its value because you know, we're going to change a number of things on this car with the TPC Racing Stage 2 Turbo Kit. So uh, if it does have a tune in it, we're gonna completely wipe it out and put our own tune in it. So with our turbo kit, we're looking to get 400 at the wheels.
guys at the shop have been working hard to install our turbo kit here. I'm going to point out some of the important features. Here we have equal length headers, both sides with cats. And uh, turbo charger is here. This is a good size turbo charger. The turbo itself is good for 600 horse. We're limiting the power to right around 400 at the wheels because that's about the uh, safe zone for the stock engine. So here we have billet wastegate, optional blow up valve. And over here we have the intercooler. It's a water to air intercooler. So it does have coolant lines that go to the front where there's a heat exchanger and an electric pump. Uh, interesting fact, we actually used an electric pump from a Ford GT. So the pump itself has a lot of fluid flow, more than capable for this application. And you see all these pretty red hoses here. Uh, these are four ply heavy duty silicon hoses specifically made to the shape of this vehicle. Everything fits perfectly from the bracket to the exhaust to the mufflers to the tailpipes. So we are excited to start this car for the first time with the newly turbo kit installed. So one feature I like to point out specifically is the routing of the exhaust. So the wastegate is right here and this is the wastegate discharge pipe. Some people call it the dump pipe. So this side of the exhaust, which is the left side, is specific to the discharge of the wastegate. So this is pretty cool because um, this is the way Porsche did it on some of their earlier turbo cars and race cars. So on the right side, this is the primary exhaust coming out of the engine and the turbo. Another optional feature this car has is the electronic boost controller. We'll be setting the boost controller on the dyno. We're going to start this engine to warm it up and then we're going to retorque the bolts.